All right, let's talk a little bit about um, charts and graphs and stuff and how you store data to make actual reports. So this page looks like crap right now. I know that. Um, it needs to be um, updated. I do a lot of the, hey, this looks pretty after I fully make something work. So I'll make it work and then I'll make it look pretty. Um, it's just easier for me that way because I don't need to worry about that form and uh, thought form so much as function. Um, each piece, once you know, you're going to keep it right. Um, so how I organize data needs depends greatly on what is in my database. So for instance here, this is pulling the yearly revenue projection for a client it doesn't include initial deposits. So for that, I have to have data that says like, projects okay and I have on these projects the amount remaining that needs to be paid out to the um, marketer or the person that's doing these projects the person using the app right so that this is for is predicting future revenue so they can say in December I'm expecting to make fifty five hundred dollars in February I'm expected to bring in forty five hundred dollars they can see they have gaps in January and March they need to find things that are going to be paid to them in that time period. So they also have a variety of dates associated. So um, for creating this, I have to have the expected payment date of this. All right. And this could actually be a stack of different projects that so could be two or three projects here that add up to the 5500. And it could be multiple to add up to the 4500 here. Uh, the main thing is that this chart is showing me the date and the payment. And to get there, I have to have data types that say dollar value and then expected. Um, sorry, where is it? Initial deposit, expected payment date. Expected payment date is how I'm getting that date at the bottom there. And then I also need the amount remaining. Right, so this amount remaining here is a number, and that is the amount that is remaining that is shown here. So I know by these dates in these months, I should see this. And that's because I have the data organized well enough to be able to pull that data. If I just had like another data, um, data point, so if I had another thing in the system, it'd be a lot harder for me to create data that pulled that Instead, I'm just able to say, what projects do I have that have uh, payment dates in December? Okay, calculate on this field all of their um, expected payments in December, and then add all that up, right? So what group of people do I have that are going to pay me? So say these three companies right here are all expected to pay me in December. What the system does is it says, who owes me money in December? Finds these three. Then it says, how much money do they owe me? Okay, this is how much money they owe me. And that's what this chart shows. Um, so it's really important to make sure that when you're organizing data, you organize data in a way that's gonna allow you to pull it because if I take a look at this screen, and show you what this looks like, I'm searching for projects, I'm searching for when they're paid, and then I'm doing the sum of the amount remaining to be paid, and I'm organizing it by the month. And that is a little bit of information on how to organize your analytics pages and uh, data for reporting. Give us a thumbs up if this was helpful subscribe we're getting close to a thousand it'd be really cool to hit a thousand so if you could you could do that that'd be awesome thank you